always wanted to know from you or been curious. Do you like being called Kejo? Like Govinda hated being called Chichi. And it's obviously a media name in a sense that Big B, King Khan, Kejo. Do you like being called Kejo? Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we make no that angle. It just got stuck somehow. It was like, uh, it was actually um, a member of the media, her name was Namrata Joshi. Hmm. Uh, she wrote a, did a cover story for Outlook at that time. It was right after the release of uh, Kal Ho Na Ho. And uh, they used to call her Nam Jo okay. in the office. She was Namrata Joshi. And, um, and I've told the story and I think she's going to get very annoyed that I'm telling it again. But that's how she just called it the Kejo something. And it just got stuck right after that. But I think it goes with the whole veneer of being the cool Kejo, right? Um, it goes with your personality in a certain way. Uh, yeah, well, it's stuck. I huh? don't know <laughs> whether, it, whether it's deserving or not, but yeah, it's just the way it is. The reason I'm saying that, uh, Karan, is also the fact that, you know, you have this whole cool veneer, but behind that is a pretty astute businessman, you know? And most people, of course, they realize it given the sheer quantum of, or the output that your production company comes out with month after month and for years after years. But when you actually, took, and this is a company that your father founded, when you actually took over, it wasn't such a big company, right? Um, it, well, my father was, a, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm very proud to say he was a very loved man in mm. the film fraternity and, you know, knew everybody and has been working in the movies since the 1950s. He used to do production and he was very loved and revered by the fraternity. Um, unfortunately, uh, Besides his very first uh, film as producer, Dostana, uh, there were a series of films that hadn't worked commercially. So while he was known and loved and had made very massive cinematic experiences, they hadn't, fa they hadn't been successful at the box office. So it was after 1980 when Dostana released. Mm. It was in 1998 when I uh, directed Kuch Kuch Hota is when he gave his next success. So he actually had 18 years of, of failures actually wow. after Dostana. So it wasn't a very easy time. Um, I mean, people really don't think about that today when they think of Dharma Productions, but it was actually, we are rather nascent because mm. I started actively producing multiple films only post-2008, 2009, uh, with Dostana and Wake Up Sid and films like which we started. So it's about like really 14 years old in right. the business where right. we're actively producing content. I mean, it would be fair to say that even in these 14, 15 years that you've been around as a producer, Dharma Productions gets almost the same billing, at least in the mindscape, in, in, in popular culture as, say, Yashraj. And Yashraj has been around for obviously much, much longer, right? Uh, my question to you is, that because we're talking about names, and I know you don't like being called Kejo because it sounds like Kaju, but Dharma, <laughs> Dharma is named after, a, most people won't know this, is named after an individual called Dharma Hinduja. He was Dharam, actually. Okay. Um, Mr. S.P. Hinduja's son, Dharam. Mm -hmm. um, the, my father was financed by the, by the prolific uh, Hinduja family uh, mm -hmm. when he decided to embark on being a producer. Dharma Productions uh, was, was formulated at that time when he was funded by the Hinduja family who were also into film financing at that moment of time. Um, S.P. Hinduja was the oldest member of the Hinduja family and his son was Dharam Hinduja. Uh, I say was because um, he's mm -hmm. not... He's right. not alive anymore. Um, and that's the origin of the name. Mm. It comes from him, actually. And then I think they tweaked it and called it Dharma. His name was Dharam. Yeah,